jabbing it with Paint Your Body. Uh, 2017 BMW i3 paint code 668. It's a uh, pretty much it's a jet black. It's a straight black, no metallic or pearl. Um, we did the passenger side quarter panel. I'm showing right here, and you can see the uh, lighter spots. I guess that's the primer. Um, there were some gouges and scratches, so the repair was made and followed up with um, a waterborne primer. Um, which is specifically made for plastic and uh, these panels are uh, plastic panels basically uh, so it really worked out well and um, it's gonna help with the coverage and uh, to kind of speed this job along a little bit quicker uh, you know trying to get coverage over uh, black primer with black base coat is super super quick and super easy um, so right into the first coat of base here I'm gonna get my coverage over the primer spots it, like I said it doesn't take much um, so I'm gonna uh, uh, give this probably about five ten minutes to flash off I'm gonna come back with the second coat so in the second coat here I'm gonna step out the base coat a little bit more uh, you know I checked this color and it matches really well uh, you know some blacks not all black colors are the same uh, some have a lot of different toners in them uh, or tints um, you know some are bluer uh, some are more brown uh, or redder or you know you could go a bunch of different ways with black it's not just black um, but I checked this one out and it looks really good so uh, you know I'm not really too worried about the color match so you know if I get it uh, up against the, the uh, at the rear door there or the bumper it's not a big deal because the color matches really well I'm not worried about it uh, so just wrapped up the second coat of base here and uh, we're gonna roll into the third coat here and uh, in between coats like I said it's about five to ten minutes or until it looks dry um, so I'm gonna put this third coat on and and kind of wrap it up make sure I got everything covered as good as I can um, make sure everything's looking good and uh, then I'm going to get it ready for clear coat. All right, so we're ready here for the first coat of clear. Um, it's flashed off pretty good. I uh, ran the tack cloth over this just to make sure um, there's no loose dust or anything that might have landed on this. Uh, you know, I say in every video, it's super important to make sure you're doing that. It'll help get a cleaner paint job and a cleaner finish. And, uh, you know, it'll make your work look better. So I haven't really mentioned it before, but um, uh, we're using the PPS cups, the 2.0. Um, they're the newer version. Well, I actually really like them. They work out really well. I can't tell really much of a big difference, if at all, between the, uh, the first version of the PPS cups from 3M or these. Um, but either way, it's a great product. Uh, you know, and I really enjoy using them. It, it, it just makes the job a lot easier. Um, but they come in different sizes, um, you know, so you don't always have to mix a large amount or use a large cup or, you know, so on and so forth. But, uh, you know, if you notice, the cups on the guns are much smaller than on the larger jobs, which makes sense. But uh, the amount of material that's needed or paint or clear coat uh, that's needed to do this job is such a small amount 
and you know it's important to make sure you're paying attention to the size of the job or to think ahead so that you don't mix up more than you need uh, and that you have just the right amount um, you know it's okay to have a little bit left over in the cup after you're done but you don't want to have a few ounces or, or more than that left in the gun it's just a lot of waste uh, or left in the cup it's just a lot of waste so it's really important to uh, try to gauge how much you're actually going to need and you know you get used to that in time and um, you know you could develop a sense of awareness on that and it becomes pretty easy to do all right so second coat of clear is wrapped up in between the first and second coat it sat for about 10 to 15 minutes um, and then I came back I'm using the uh, Devilbus Techna clear coat gun on this for the clear on uh, the Techna Pro Light for the base uh, but the, for the clear coat, it's at 1.3 with the uh, TE25 air cap. Spray is beautiful. I love it. Um, so I'm going to show uh, a couple photos. Here's a photo. Uh, just You just saw the finished product in the booth. I wanted to get a couple different angles. Um, and uh, I'm going to show this outside. But it came out really well. The car left. The customer loved it. Everybody's happy. Um, you know, and it, it feels good to do a nice job and to have the work come out nice and to uh, continue on to the next job and, and keep it going. So thanks for watching.